So this effect that we're going to be creating right now is possible to create with the free version of Alamancer. No third-party plugins, no pro subscription, no other tools other than the free version of Elementor. And this is the parallax effect in action. Let me just close this panel over there. So this is the section and as I scroll down the page, you see that this background here is parallax background and this text over here is not moving as well. And this is the text element. This is not the part of the image. This is the actual text element. You're not using any third party plugins. You're not, you know, adding any other elements. You're just changing the type of the scroll of your background. So now let's actually proceed to the tutorial. So let me start with this one. I have actually created a section and then I was making it uh, look like a parallax thing. So now let's delete it and start creating it from scratch so you guys understand what you should do to achieve the same effect. So now let's create a new section. Right, so there it goes. And uh, in the height, you could pick any height you need, but I then chose fit to screen. So it takes up all the height of my viewport. Then we go to style. In the background type, we choose image. Here, you just select the image that suits your needs, that's gonna look the best in this particular section. So as you see here, now it is the background of our section and I scroll down, nothing happens. Then in the size, we're going to set cover and in the attachment, attachment, in the attachment. Now I got this in the attachment, in the attachment, it's going to be fixed. So, and you see here that uh, this effect is going to only work on desktop because the fixed type of attachment is going to only work on desktop devices. It means that on mobile devices and on tablet devices, you're not going to be able to achieve the same effect. So there we go. You're pretty much set. So looks pretty nice already. Oh yeah, actually I wanted to show you that thing, that trick with the text. So now we could, what I want to do is I want this text element and I want to grab it and I want to drag it over here. And um, whatever, let's leave whatever text it gives us and I want to change the size. Let's say, let's make it a little bigger. So now as you scroll, it scrolls with the rest of the page. But if we do a little thing, if we go to advanced of this particular widget, of this particular element, and we go to custom positioning, which is the new feature that Elementor team has introduced in, I believe, 2.5 update. And we go to position and we set it to fixed. And um, it claims that it's not really respon responsive design friendly, but it's gonna work okay on desktop by default. And what you're gonna do is just adjust the values, the values of the offset, which is the horizontal position and vertical position, you're just going to adjust these, these values for mobile and tablet devices and then it's going to work fine as well. So just set it to fix, adjust the position using these sliders or just dragging it around and uh, there we go. Now the text object is now right there and it stays at the same place as the rest of the page is being scrolled by the user. But you notice that it actually gets on top of uh, this, this section over here. And it's pretty easy to fix. All you need to do is to make sure that the sections, the, all the other sections of your page, if you click on the section and you go to advanced, you have to make sure that the Z index is higher than the Z index of this text element or you're gonna see something like that, which is not really good looking. So you're just gonna go around and change the Z index. Z index is just, if you imagine the sections of your website being layers, it simply means that you, the, the higher you set the Z index, the higher uh, this particular section is gonna be in the hierarchy of your layers. 
right? So I hope it's clear. And this is how you're going to achieve this same effect. So, and it's picking out a little bit over there. So, you know, just do the same thing. You just go around. You see that as I go to advance and I change the Z index of this section, this text disappears because now this section is on top that layer that is this text. So now it hides underneath that section. So this is the simplest and probably the most lightweight parallax effect that you can create with the help of Elements or Page Builder. And it is absolutely free. And just get the free version of Elementor and, you know, try and create something like this yourself.